Head coach Bobby Knight, in a prepared statement released to the Department of Intercollegiate Athletics, said players Jim Roberson, Tommy Baker, and Don Cox will no longer be practicing or playing basketball for Indiana University. And Knight said five additional players, Mike Woodson, Ray Tolbert, Phil Eisenbarger, Eric Kirshner, and Landon Turner, have been placed on indefinite probation, but will continue to practice and play with the team. Knight also said the action was taken with the full concurrence of new athletic director Ralph Floyd. Word of the action roared through Bloomington like a wildfire and set Hoosiers speculating statewide, but the exact cause of the shakeup remains a mystery. IU President John Ryan became involved through a statement released through the IU News Bureau. Quoting Ryan, I share the deep regret of Coach Knight and Ralph Floyd over the need to take this action. However, Indiana University team standards are clear and they are fair. The decision of the Department of Intercollegiate Athletics has my complete approval. End of quote. The players aren't talking either. They so far are saying only that it was a team thing and that they are accepting the action of the university. The scholarships of the eight individuals, according to Knight, will not be affected, and that raises the possibility of player reinstatement. However, the significance of the scholarship status remains to be seen. One thing is certain. IU officials will meet again very soon to discuss the entire matter. Don Benda, News 4, Indiana. Jim, was it a, a matter of simple marijuana use or something else entirely? No, it was, it was just straight that, but it, it, it was uh, just, you know, that only. Roberson broke his silence on the incident for the first time, and he was the first player to admit openly that marijuana use was involved. He told us he had made a mistake, and he hoped that Coach Bobby Knight would give him a second chance, a chance to correct his mistake. He also said that he was not the only member of the IU basketball team to have made such a mistake. But Jim, you're saying that other members of the team also use marijuana. I'm not saying they use it. I'm saying that they've, they have used it, and they might, you know, I'm not saying that they are, are rapid users or users of it a lot or anything, but I'm saying they have it at times while they've been at IU have done it. That's all I'm saying. And uh, this year, that's all I'm saying. I'm not trying to, you know, point Well, what, well, what were the them? specifics of your case? Did a member of the coaching staff see you smoking? No. no or was it no. uh, someone who it, told about uh, you? Yeah. It was something where, where somebody was getting dragged down and they didn't want to see, you know, somebody else's name not be brought up. What do you mean? Well, um, you know, like I said uh, before, other people's name were being mentioned, and my name was brought up because, you know, nobody wants to go down without taking somebody else down with them. Well, did a member of the coaching staff call you a pothead? Coach himself. The coach, Coach Knight, called you a pothead? Yeah, well, he called all of us that, you know, the moment he found out anything like that was, he just called everybody like that. How did he say this under? Just, you know. Angrily? Angrily, yeah, out of anger. Another dismissed player, sophomore Tommy Baker, was also talking today, but Baker refused to confirm that marijuana was involved in his dismissal. That might, you know, that might have been his thing. I don't know. You know, like I said, I can't comment on anything, you know, for Jim Roberson. He has to speak for himself. But as for me, you know, I, I believe that the coaches knew that I wasn't happy here. You know, like I said, some other team conflicts may have uh, brought it off, but whatever, you know, as far as I'm, go I'm done. As far as I'm concerned, the matter's closed. Can you remember any incident in which Coach Knight called you potheads? Yeah, there was one incident in the, um, you know, in the locker room. But, but like I say, you know, there was no proof. No one had any evidence or anything like that. That's the reason why I said I don't know anything about it. Um, you know, like I said, I, other than that, I wouldn't have anything to hide. Although players were talking more as the controversy continued, administrative sources were not. Coach Bobby Knight refused again today to say anything whatsoever about the incident. And Ralph Floyd, sports athletic director, only repeated what he had said earlier, namely, what is right is right, what is wrong is wrong. There was still no confirmation nor denial that marijuana had anything at all to do with it. Cy Jenkins, News 4, Indiana.